Hello everybody, take a look at this issue of Knives Illustrated. Uh, this is probably their latest issue and I was just at the grocery store, saw this magazine and decided on an impulse really to buy it. Now I don't often buy knife magazines, but this one I was flipping through it, looked nice and colorful so I decided to take it home. So um, as I was flipping through it, there was one ad in it that really drew, drew my attention. And so right here, page 19, we can see an ad for American Buffalo Knife and Tool. Now I have never heard of this company before, um, but I was taking a look at this photo right here and there's one knife in particular, this one, that looked really eye-catching. I liked the shape of it and so as a result I went to their website to check it out further and of course that's the topic of this video is that I decided to buy this particular knife. It's called the Black Hills Folder and uh, that is from American Buffalo Knife and Tool and this company I've never heard of it before but I guess it shows that advertising does pay because I went to their website did some browsing and they appear to sell mostly lower end um, user knives a lot of them are in the traditional style you know a lot of um, slip joints a lot of um, folding knives of that variety most of them using relatively cheap steel this knife is one of their better ones so this one is the Black Hills folder and I have it right here so I really just liked the look of it the shape of the blade was very attractive so I purchased this one just direct from their website it cost uh, $39.99 shipped so and I just ordered it right from them and I, honestly I've not seen any other sites that sell knives from this company so that might be the only source at this time where you can buy a knife from American Buffalo knife and tool so I purchased this knife and really the selling point I mean it looks beautiful I was kind of on the fence but then I noticed when you bought this knife it actually wasn't just the knife itself it came with a leather sheath and so this was included in the box and of course you'll notice it doesn't have a pocket clip because it is a lock back traditional folder uh, but it does come with this nice leather pouch and so you can carry this uh, horizontally on your belt and so it's kind of a neat add-on you don't see that too often with lower end knives to include a leather pouch you know generally with the the higher end American stuff you might see that and I'm not saying this is the highest quality pouch ever, but the fact that it comes with one, it does hold it securely. I mean, so there's really no issue with that. So it seems to be, you know, tailor-made for this particular knife. I've tried fitting a few of my other ones in there, and they're not a great fit for this particular sheath. So it came with the sheath. Um, the knife, of course, very simple box. This knife is in their Roper lineup because... Uh, American Buffalo Knife and Tool. As you browse their site, they have several different lineups of knives. They have the Roper knives, which seem to be the, to me, you know, to me honestly, the higher end stuff, which is, um, which is saying something because their other lines are, you know, tactical type knives. It's cheaper looking stuff, to be honest. Now, that's my first opinion of it. But the Roper knives had a few interesting looking knives, and this was one of them. Um, so there's the barcode right there. But this one they call the Black Hills Folder. So there's the box, and of course the knife itself. You can see it's a smooth G10 handles with a steel bolster, lock back, and I do like that shape of blade. So I don't know if you call this one, you know, a modified drop point. It just has that big belly to it. And so at $39.95. I got exactly the steel I was expecting, which is an 8CR 13 MOV. So you can see that stamped onto the blade along with PRC, People's Republic of China. And so all of the knives American Buffalo Knife and Tool offers appear to be made in China. And that's kind of you know their company right there. So it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. You know, you just keep that in mind when purchasing. Um, overall though this is a pretty nice little knife um, it is of course a lock back so with a nail nick here it's two-handed opening although I noticed on this one in particular I can actually get it started with my thumb and then just kind of flick it out so if you had to use it one-handed you would be able to you know with or without gloves so the size of this knife it has a three inch blade and that's measuring from the tip of the knife to the bolsters or the tip of the blade to the bolster three inches and the handle length is four inches 
when it's closed. And so it's not a huge knife, but it is, you know, a medium size lock back folder. Again, one of the things I liked about the knife is the G10 handles, because a lot of traditional knives use traditional materials. You'll see a lot of bone, which I'm not a fan of. You'll see a lot of wood, which I'm not a huge fan of, but bone and wood are not my favorites, whereas I love synthetics like G10, carbon fiber, things like that. And so at the price point, you know, you do see a little bit of rough roughness in the pins and around the edges, you know, it, it reflects, you know, how much the knife is cost to make and how much it's worth. So $40 knife here. Let me show you the Roper logo on there. And they're all serialized, so that's what it mentions on their website. So this one's 461 Who knows how many they made? I'm not quite sure if it said or not. But, um... It doesn't say the weight on the website, and I don't have a scale, but just in the hand, I would estimate it's, a, it's around four ounces. Um, and of course, if you have it in this leather sheath, you know, it's going to kind of disappear because it doesn't weigh that much even altogether. So really nice little knife. Um, let's do a quick size comparison here. Let's see. I always like to compare this review knife. to the blur and so here is the Kershaw blur which of course is your more full size tactical style folder so I can just hold them side by side it's always hard with the camera angles to make it look accurate but the blur of course is significantly longer I'd say at least an inch longer overall in total size and really not a fair comparison because they're just totally different types of knives but I wanted to show people side by side what they might look like. There we go. Um, of course, like I said, lock back knife. You can see I'm trying to open it one-handed, and it's possible. It's not a, you know, a fast opener, so I wouldn't recommend it if you need an absolute fast opener. But um, really cool little design. Came very sharp, so I have no complaints, and there's no play in the blade or anything. So. Nice Black Hills folder by American Buffalo Knife and Tool, part of their Roper knives. So check that out if it looks interesting to you. I just wanted to get a video of it online so people could check it out. Because if you saw those ads in the magazine, you might want to have more information. So hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment. Thank you.